In this example, we are asked to calculate the cost of equity for an unlisted company. Because this company is unlisted, we do not know its beta. Therefore, we can't use CAPM without some kind of workaround. The logic underlying the required approach to such a situation is explained in another video. I've put a link in the description in case you are not yet familiar with the so-called Hamada approach. We begin by identifying a peer group of comparable listed companies. Because such companies are listed, their betas and DE ratios will be known, and we can use these data points to calculate the averages. In this question setup, both the average beta and the average DE ratio are given, so no further computation is needed from us. Next, we recall that a beta which is unlabeled is assumed to be levered beta. Therefore, the comparable average beta of 1.71 is in fact the peer group levered beta. So we need to unlever this using the first of the Hamada equations. For any company with debt in its capital structure, unlevered beta will always be less than levered beta. This principle might help you to get the equations the right way around. Levered beta is divided by the financial leverage factor in order to get unlevered beta. Using this equation and making sure that we use the comparable DE ratio, we calculate that unlevered beta is 0.846. In the third step, we use the unlevered beta for the comparable group as an estimate of the unlevered beta for the unlisted company. We then need to re-lever that estimate using the second Hamada equation. Because levered beta is greater than unlevered beta, we know that this time the financial leverage factor is a multiplier, not a divisor. We are also careful to ensure that we use the DE of the unlisted company to calculate that levered beta for that unlisted company is 1.856. Finally, we use our estimated beta in the CAPM equation. We plug in the risk-free rate of 6.4%, the beta of 1.856 we have just calculated, and our knowledge that the market risk premium is the difference between the market return and the risk-free rate, in this case 5.1%. Therefore, the unlisted company's cost of equity is 15.9%.